Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Behind the Reel. I'm your host, John, and we've got another hummingbird video for you today. We are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to call this little mini-series the Troubleshooting Checklist. Today, we're going to talk about troubleshooting missing sonar information. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out our hummingbird playlist for more content just like this. Alright guys, so what you're going to do if you're missing sonar information, the very first thing that I would do is check your sonar tab. And this is something that I see on forums, I have people calling in and uh, asking me you know, why they're not receiving this information, they're thinking their unit is bad. Don't panic, pull up your main menu, hit that menu button twice, and then go over to your sonar tab here and we want to scroll down to connected transducer. Now in this scenario right here, you can see that I'm sourcing my high wide MDI plus transducer as well as my Mega360. This is important because if just Mega360 is showing, you see immediately I lose my sonar tab, I'll lose my down imaging tab as well. And sometimes your units I don't know what it is, but you just got to remember guys that we're dealing with computers here and sometimes they just have a mind of their own. All you got to do is come over here and change it to the high wide MDI plus in addition to the Mega360 and that problem will go away. So that is definitely step number one. A lot of the times your problem is going to be solved right here on the sonar screen. So just we'll recap that real quick. You just go menu menu sonar tab okay you may not start out there scroll all the way over it's the one with the little fish symbol there go down to connected transducer make sure you have the correct transducer selected you may have a different transducer here you may not even have a mega 360. it's really irrelevant you need to make sure that the correct transducer is selected that is step number one Okay guys, step number two. This is the second step that I will take if step number one does not work, if I have the correct transducer selected and I'm still missing information, I wanna go over here to my network tab, scroll down to network source setup, and make sure you have the information sourced from the correct location. So if this unit is pulling over sonar information from this unit, we want to make sure that that's selected. So uh, if you come down here and you have, you know, your 2D information is coming from another unit and that unit is off or whatever the case may be, maybe that unit is just a chirp unit and it doesn't even have capabilities of running down imaging, but that's where you're trying to pull down imaging from, it's not going to work. So make sure you have the correct source selected under your network source setup. So one more time here guys, we're going to pull up our main menu, menu menu, go to our network tab, network source setup, and we're going to scroll through here and make sure we have the correct source selected. So that is step number two. All right guys, my third and final step for this scenario here where we are missing sonar information is going to be a restore defaults. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your setup tab, okay? Menu, menu, go to setup, and you're going to scroll down here. You'll see restore defaults, and this is this is a last-ditch effort. This is if the two steps previous to this did not work. You're going to restore your defaults. You're not going to lose waypoints or anything like that, but sometimes that can fix your issue. Okay, guys, that was step number three. That's your last and final step here but one more thing i'm going to throw one little bonus tip at you guys and that is make sure that you have your units connected properly so as you can see here i have two units this one is a down imaging unit this one is a chirp unit and 
if I accidentally switch around these cable trays and I have my transducer for my Mega 360 and my down imaging ran to the chirp unit, I'm not ever going to get that information. I've done it before. I'm not trying to insult you guys. I know most of you are smarter than that and probably smarter than me, but definitely check that out because these cable trays are really handy, but it might be worth labeling them um, or something like that because it definitely has happened to me before. So that's your three steps. That's your troubleshooting checklist for missing sonar information. All right, guys. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully I answered some questions and I make your, your next trip on the water just a little bit more efficient. We're going to try to spend less time messing with our electronics, more time catching fish. So guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, share this video with a friend. I appreciate you and we'll see you on the next one.